Hello and welcome back to Let's Make Merly, a character for the Kickstarter video game Grey Skies Dark Waters. Uh, in the previous episode I was interrupted by my food delivery service, so I apologize for not finishing off the episode in an elegant manner. I kind of dropped the phone and just ran outside, so I was not able to give you the closure that you deserve. But anyway, what we're doing here um, is just continuing with the jacket. I kind of promised in the last episode that I would continue sculpting until the jacket uh, was done with all of these pads um, and, and padding. Uh, but as uh, just described, I was interrupted by a food delivery service, so I'm just going to continue here. Um, in the last episode, I was just coming around to starting to sculpt this area here. Um, and again, just using the same process, using a clay buildup to kind of build up some fluff and then using the flatten brush to take away the excessive crinkles and take it back down, push it up, take it down, push it up, take it down, in, out, in, out, that's how life works. So yeah, no, nothing um, groundbreaking, no secret ZBrush tips, just a regular sculpting process and a lot of repetition. I love it when art is simple. And the creation is simple. It's kind of um, like uh, simple, but also complex. So it's it's simple uh, here in in its actual um, in, in how it's made, but it's pretty complex in where do I flatten, where do I add some folds, how do I go about doing all this. So really, um, what I really find exciting is sculpting this fold area. Um, that's something that just gets me all in the heebie-jeebies. Especially this fold here, I'm very excited about how I um, made that in the last episode. I mean, it's nothing special, but it, it was just it's just one of those moments where it's fun to sculpt and kind of, um, with so little effort, generate such a believable fold through your imagination. Uh, looks like I kind of messed up here, so I'm going to kind of inflate this back. And then relax it, inflate, relax, inflate, relax. In, out, in, out, that's life. Yeah, that's okay. I'm actually, but, but I am still going to add a bit of a crease right here. Relax it, there we go. Just to make sure that distinction stays there, but it's fine if it has a little bit of a bump. That's totally fine with me. Oh no, oh no! I've got X-Symmetry on. <laughs> Nothing terrible happened, I think. So I want the inside of the jacket to be much, much less padded than the outside. So I kind of, I'm gonna be very, I'm kind of aggressively making that distinction here right now. At first I padded it out just like the outside, but um, just so I can kind of get that edge uh, variation there, but um, yeah. That's what I'm doing there! And this is kind of like, uh, this piece is an odd piece. It doesn't have the correct poly loops, which is a little unfortunate. But it's an odd piece anyway. Um, it's kind of a hero piece, I guess, so I, I'll be okay. I'm fine with putting a little more... Actually, fuck that. I'm definitely going to... Going to the lowest subdivision level. Um, take out my select lasso. This note, please. If anybody knows, if there's a skip this note until forever, that would be awesome. Shrink that. And now, group this. Actually, can group this into a little bit of a different color. Thank you, Monsieur. Well, let's go back up into subdivision five. Higher. And mass by subdivision is now on and we can sculpt it like the rest. Now what I do want to do though is make this top real nice and poofy, so I'm gonna use the inflate brush to kind of poof this out a bit. Because everybody loves having their jacket all nice and poofy. It's a little bit too poofy. It does need to keep its shape. David. So I'm gonna actually go make it smaller. 
kind of sculpt it like I'm also sculpting the rest of the object and then flatten it out. Yeah, that's giving it a really nice flow. But not too much. Actually, what I could also do is sculpt a little bit of the negative here. I don't like that. That hat is making it lag like crazy, so I'm just gonna take this down a couple. Detail levels. And these, of course. I feel like they're kind of important. So I'm not gonna just hide them away like they never happened. Now I'll sculpt this out like the rest of the jacket. Adding some very, very bold creases here. I'm gonna go ahead and inflate that back in. Gravity has been pulling on this jacket for a while. It's not a very nice jacket. A bit more distinction between these, well, jacket puffs. Switch back to select direct so I can quickly isolate this poly group. Oh, that's a, it's not a place for that poly group, but well, what's a man to do? Inside polygons I uh, never did get hidden there, but since you never see them, I don't think it makes a big difference. And then take this down and kind of um, hide these faces, make them part of the poly group underneath. So that was definitely a mistake grouping them with this. I don't know what happened there. Must be from the fact that I went back into Blender for this um, part back in when I was doing that. There we go. Now let's just kind of hide this. Okay, let's group that anew. Yeah. 
gonna include this. the max out of it. I'm gonna actually uninflate this a bit. Let's see if I can just move it. I like that. So I kind of messed up there, but that can just be part of the just how it looks. I'm gonna turn off the mask by poly groups. Actually, I'm gonna turn it right back on. Kind of try and cover this up. See how much I can get away with there. And I mean, if it's visible, it doesn't matter, but. Keep on stopping. sure this is nice and super crinkly folded because there's gonna be some so that's a major fold error just to kind of already insinuate some of that tension coming out of there Creases in here, kind of experimenting with what that might look like, seeing what kind of creases look good. Because I definitely want to have some around the elbow. Oh, I'll just continue for now. Now, one thing that I kind of did neglect here with these patches is just uh kind of inflate process. Sculpt just keeps sculpting, just keeps sculpting. Since there's going to be so much attention on the jacket, that's probably going to be the thing most in the viewer's eye. Um, I'm okay with spending a little more time on it. Time, a lot of people just get so carried away in sculpts. Um, and sure, for personal projects, you don't have anybody looking over your shoulder, but. Um, Time is money, and you just imagine about how many more sculptures and personal projects you could do in the time it takes you to do some sort of very small improvement. And of course, you want to have the perfect sculpture, but the perfect sculpture is also has an efficient modeling process, in my honest opinion. A little bit of a 
fold there. And some tensions. It's just a matter of sculpting the rest of this around and that should be should should be should be good. So for this part down here I'm actually just gonna turn off mass by polygroups and turn on uh, topological uh, masking. Just for this part right here. Because um, we have uh, this awkward polygroup there. I'm going to turn on mass by polygroups on real quick though, just for the inflate portion of that. Oops, not going to do that. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. It's going to be a tough one. by polygroups, instead of topological on. I'm gonna just flatten this out here. Kinda pull this out as well. The reason is, right, I already explained why this area specifically has such an odd topological shape there. second I'm gonna just go back and improve the areas where that zipper is but right now I'm just worried about going back to topological just getting a basic um, texture going just making sure that surface property is there okay here we go can use the standard brush I think Add more around the edges so it's wedged in there real nice. Yeah, I like how this is reading. I like I like how the jacket as a whole is starting to read too. I'm gonna sculpt backwards a bit in here. a little bit more away there. And actually, I think I'm gonna actually flatten this too. Oh no! There we go. Oh, no, this into penetrating its own self. Okay. Now I'm going to continue and turn mask by polygroups back on, turn topological off since it does make it a lot slower. There's a considerable slowdown when using topological masking. But only with really the painter brushes. On the move brush, since it only checks at one time and not repeatedly, um, I've never noticed any slowdown. And here I am, I have topological.
like this one got neglected somehow, or maybe this one got a little too much, I don't know. Just take that back a bit. And I'm just gonna go down and inflate and then smooth all of these. So this right here looks terrible of course, but now when I smooth it back, it should do exactly what I want. Yep. I'm going to smooth the whole bottom side of this too, just to get a little bit more of an overlap. So kind of maybe get a little bit more of that here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and inflate all of these bottom portions a bit. No special techniques here, just regular bitch ass inflating. That economy. Just inflating it. Kind of like a balloon. But now, um, I am so happy that I spent the time in the beginning creating all these polygroups because this simply would not have been sculptable without a Well it's kind of inflating it more on the bottom half to give it more of a gravity feel. Like there's gravity tugging on it. Okay, now just kind of clay brush this and continually switching between the clay and the flat and going back and forth trying to get that shape the way I want it to be. Hmm, what happened to the mosaic? Ah, there it is. Hmm. This area here in the shirt will definitely have to um, be very low key. I don't know if she should have it tucked in. It's gonna, I'm just gonna make it real short, kind of like that. Um, 
just add some basic folds in there. Because since this is since the jacket is resting on the shirt, then they're kind of interacting with it. I'm gonna use a standard brush for this. Just for folds, there's just nothing beats a standard brush. space just having this kind of tank top underneath everything. Make some real small folds though. Kind of where the tension lines are strongest and then kind of take them back. That's almost too much. That's way too much. Oh god, baby. I know she's a legend, but obviously every video game character needs to have boobs. Well, that was being sarcastic in case. <laughs> they kind of came through anyway on the model. I guess she does have boobs. I'm gonna take that away just because it's not really how I envision it. At least that pronounced. Though, I think with girls, puberty does hit pretty early, so it's totally plausible. Just kind of sculpting over that. Horizontal folds here where it's gotten a little um, scrunched up. Which just always happens with shirt short shirts. So that they kind of get scrunched up. Totally that. I think a slight, um, slight seam wouldn't hurt. So I'm going to. Yeah, go with that select lasso and just. Um, this isn't going to be anything major, but just a slight sleeve, shrink this, take this, unmask it, and inflate it out just a tiny bit. Hmm, this doesn't seem to be quite enough. Hmm. I'm gonna go up the subdivision level. Actually, just hold on a second. What I'm going to do is group this. And now, um, take it up the subdivision level, mask that group. Is this up the subdivision level? No, now it's definitely up the subdivision level. I didn't even notice. So, so few points. And then flip this, actually, take it inward a bit. And um, make this visible, shrink it, and group this again. Kind of take this out and inflate this back. I should do the same thing around the neck. So, since I have the edge loops, I'm just gonna go down a bit in subdivision lines. Kind of take this one, do this. Let's see if that's about the same size. Yeah, I'll do kind of inflate this. Oops. Use my mouse button click. Negative two. Looks good. Now just uh, shrink points. 
Schwenk. Schwenk. Lucas. Shit, that's a little bit too much. You know, up the subdivision level, up to the very highest. Say so shrink here. And now group this. And now take this. Inflate this by two. That just gives me a nice little seam around that shirt top. Giving me a little bit more realism. Alright, back to the jacket. After our, um... How should I call it? How should I call it? It's a... Shirt... Detour? I'm getting really into the zone, so I might get a little lethargic as my brain just goes into the hyperspace mode. I, I don't do any drugs. Art is a drug. It just does does what I need. Uh, Mask by Polygroups is on. I think for the hands, as I'm kind of looking at them here out of the corner of my eye, I'm probably going to have to... I, I'm going to be sculpting them, but since they don't have so many... Um, since she's so young, she won't have too many wrinkles yet. So I'm going to pretty much stick with a make human shape for them mainly. Can't decide. I don't know what 11 year old hands look like, I couldn't find any direct reference for that. Flattening everything out, taking away that detail in the middle, that unnecessary noise. Yeah, almost done. Definitely don't want to rush it. I'm gonna take this right here. Just take this hair. She used the Form Soft brush, BFS. Gonna take this out a bit more. So it's really actually like on top of the jacket. Something that um, something I didn't really um, notice before was these are on a bit of a different level, and that's kind of what's making that separation happen. So I'm just gonna go in and. Turn off mass by polygroups and just take this down just a notch so that it looks a little bit more like that. And also take this and make it just a tiny bit thicker. Uh, inflate 0.5. I'm gonna do that a little bit more. Okay. Just have oh no I use the form soft and just take that out a bit I love that brush um, a little bit more shirt sculpting here I just want to have this fold continue a bit better Let's very high detail right now, so yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go to the jacket and um, start detailing, adding some more folds, small things, kind of tension lines. I'm gonna do that in the higher subdivision level. So just adding, using a Damien standard to just go through and um, what is this? I don't know what this is. And delete it. Sure. Ah. Jacket error. Well, instead of deleting it, maybe I should just make it invisible. Since I've already deleted so many things back, so today I shouldn't have to delete it. 
<laughs> being a little scared. So here we've definitely got a lot of tension lines, like this is about to fold as well. where I figure it needs it. I guess being able to do that is one of those things that you just learn doing by doing it the same thing over and over again. I'm going to this um, jacket up here, turn off dynamic subdivision and actually subdivide it a couple of times. I'm gonna start inflating um, or I already switched to my inflate brush but Switching to the picture here. Okay, and switch to the flight brush again for some reason. I guess just have it. Hmm. Kind of add a lot of padding here around the neck. And then the same thing. I'm gonna turn on back face mask just so that I don't accidentally change the thickness, but then yeah, same thing, just a little bit smaller and more detailed. another subdivision level, just because I can, and because I want to have this detail really going in this direction, not this way I can kind of ignore that topology a bit more. There we go, same thing here, just for kicks I am not quite even sure if this will be visible, but it'll not hurt. And some pretty drastic um, Folds there. There we go. And I just want to make kind of emphasize this color over the rest, kind of like there's a bit of an extra elastic in here holding it up to her neck the way it is. So it's almost gotten a little noisy for me, so I'm going to go in with the polish brush actually and just try and smooth most of this out again. It's really just to give it a basic form. I'm going to turn on back face mask. There we go. Alright. That is looking good. Now, what I'm kind of curious about is if this even makes a difference, but yes, it does. I'm going to go into this now. This is the, um, the space in between spaces. Basically, the inside of the jacket. And what I want to do is I want to kind of panel kind of with this entirely. Um, or at least I'm going to try to see what happens. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go inside. It's going to be under the edge loop. I have a hotkey for this one, I never use this. Elevation there, thickness pretty thick, thin, no polish, maybe one loop, ten loops. Um, very, very little. Okay. 
saving. So what happens if I polish this? Um, it does need to be double. Nope, not gonna do it. Oh well, it's not really a big deal. Um, I wonder what happens if I take them outward. Could be because, the, ah, they have different polygroups. Actually, just deleted a lot of loops and take the angle down a bit. It's going to just make it a bit less. And now, the thing I wanted to do was to group everything. Now, try panel loops again, see if that looks any better. And yes, it does. It is doing what I wanted. And do that elevation negative. By groups. No. Okay, I'm gonna try doing a crease with a tolerance of 70. Now doing a um, deformation polished crisp edges. Okay, I am happy with that. Except for this area here, this is really odd. So now that I have thickness, I can just go ahead and smooth it out. Pretend that never happened. And I'm gonna inflate this a bit. Make it a bit thicker all around. Polish by Chris Vegans again. Gives a bit more. Oomph. Yeah. That's looking good. Let's see what we can do about these hands. Ah, oh, there are already subdivision models. I mean, they look mostly fine to me. I'm just gonna give them a little bit more. Just that basic make human topology. It's already very accurate. I'm just gonna make her a bit pudgier. Since soccer players, at least my little sisters who are soccer players, they they are a bit pudgy. Add some more subdivision. Yeah. I don't like any of that. They're fine the way they are. It's not really much to do. Just all I'm doing is kind of messing it up. I don't want to. I am really trying to avoid getting into the sculpting these hands because that is a rabbit hole. I've I've encountered it several times. Just trying to get the shape a little bit more natural. Why? It's one little thing that bugs me about the C window is that if I have my mouse down here, it'll pop here and I'll get all confused about muscle memory and stuff. Eh, I'll leave those hands. I'll just, just completely leave them. Animator was complaining about me sculpting hands anyway. 
because um, she had to change the position because I was actually um, taking the fingers um, down. Give her a bit more. A little bit more definition here. Okay. Trying not to make her look like a Hulk monster, but just a little bit more. It was fine the way it was, David. This looks good. Yeah. So I'm going to stick the hands the way they are. That leaves the pants and shoes for detailing. After that, since these are pretty low characters, <coughs> and not as high detailed as, I don't know, the newest Unreal engine demos. Um, yeah. Next session, I'm going to dive into sculpting the pants, giving that more detail, and possibly the shoe. I hope you enjoyed watching me sculpt. Uh, if it was too boring, give it a dislike. If you did enjoy it, uh, give it a like. I forgot to mention that just a second ago. And um, yeah, have a... thanks for watching. See ya.